Welcome to Electromagnetic Theory Lecture Series. I, Professor Itesh Dulakia, is going to explain you electric field due to line charge distribution in this video. So here I'll explain you how we can have a calculation of electric field due to line charge distribution. So that is what we will be calculating based on electric field due to point charge. And I have already explained you electric field due to point charge that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into charge divided by square of the distance into unit vector r. Now you see here this unit vector r that is vector r divided by magnitude of r. So we can rewrite this as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q divided by r cube into vector r right as i am writing unit vector r is vector r divided by magnitude of r so in denominator now there will be r cube now let us consider three dimensional coordinate system now in this three dimensional coordinate system this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis here we have origin and I am going to place this line charge density on z axis where z varies from minus infinite to plus infinite. So let me place line charge distribution on z axis. So you can see I have placed line charge distribution rho L on z axis where z varies from minus infinite to plus infinite. Now what I will do is I will be considering small differential element here. So let us say I'm having small differential element of this line charge distribution and this small differential element is having length dz, right? And on xy plane, let us say at this point, I just want to calculate electric field. So due to small differential element, electric field that will happen in this direction. And if I want to calculate coordinate of this, then in cylindrical coordinate system, it will be having coordinate r phi and as it is there on xy plane z will be 0 where r is a radial distance with respect to center phi is angle on xy plane with respect to x axis you see and z is 0 why the reason is it is there on xy plane where z is 0 right now if you want to see what are the coordinates which is there with this dz then with this dz in cylindrical coordinate system radius r will be 0 as it is there at center angle phi will remain as it is and let us say it is there at z coordinate over here right so what we will be doing is will be trying to calculate electric field due to this much amount of small differential element. Now, if you want to place calculation of electric field, all we need is we need to have small amount of charge, right, which is there in this dz. So how to calculate that? So to have a calculation of small charge, all we need to do is we need to have line integration of rho L on this, right. So I can say dq and that is rho L dz, right? Now this dq charge that will result certain amount of electric field here. So that electric field as per this basic formula will be, I am writing that dE as it is there due to this small differential element and that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into charge that is dq divided by you see I am writing that in this form so let us say divided by r cube right so here I am writing capital R cube into it is there in the direction of r if you write divided by r square then it will be there in unit vector direction r now our next agenda that is to have a calculation of vector r so what is vector r? Vector r that is there in this direction. So it is head minus tail. 
so vector r that is this minus this so you see r minus 0 so that is r 5 minus 5 so that is 0 and 0 minus z so that is minus z right and if you want what is the magnitude then magnitude r that is square root of r square plus z square right so that is magnitude now let us place these values in this electric field formula first so here I have placed r is equals to r square plus z square raised to half so that is r square plus z square raised to 3 by 2 here as in denominator r cube is there and vector r is r comma 0 comma minus z right now there are few basic things that we need to understand see if I consider same differential length over this side right let us say this is dz so what will happen because of this dz electric field that will happen in this direction right so if you observe electric field then you will be observing there will be vertical component like this vertical component because of this that is this and horizontal component that will be this so horizontal component that is getting added for both but vertical component you see this is getting cancelled right so vertical component is which component z direction component you see so as z direction component is getting cancelled here we don't have z component so i can say this component is zero and this dq that is rho l dz that i can place it over here now you see we have this electric field right and if i wanted to have complete electric field then i need to integrate this where z ranges from minus infinite to infinite you see z that is ranging from minus infinite to infinite that is what the case which i need to place it to have complete electric field now here you see this rho l divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 that is constant that we can take outside and we have 1 divided by r square plus z square raised to 3 by 2 term so to have a solution of this integration what we can do is we can consider this z is equals to r tan theta so we can say this dz that is r sec square theta d theta right and here if you see z that belongs to minus infinite to infinite so what will happen here theta that will belongs to you see z belongs to minus infinite to infinite z is equals to r tan theta so theta will belongs to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 right and here in direction we just have radial component so what i'll write is r into unit vector ar instead of this so our electric field will be you see now that will be minus infinite to infinite 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 then rho l into dz is r sec square theta d theta and you see this r into ar i'm writing like this divided by r square plus z square raised to 3 by 2 is there z is r tan theta so r square will be common 1 plus 10 square theta that will be sec square theta so one can say r square sec square theta raised to 3 by 2 that will be r cube sec cube theta that we can say right now let us simplify this further so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 and rho l that will come outside so rho l divided by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 now you see r into r r square divided by r cube so that is divided by r that we have and here 
see 1 by sec theta that we need to integrate so that is cos theta d theta and you see here I need to change my limits from minus infinite to infinite to minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 so here I need to change this so my limits are minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 here right now cos theta that integration that we need to do so that is sin theta and if you place limits then you will be having sin pi by 2 minus sin minus pi by 2 so sin pi by 2 is 1 sin minus pi by 2 is minus 1 so 1 plus 1 that is 2 so 2 divided by 4 so you will be having rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r into unit vector direction a r so this is how we have a calculation of electric field now for a solution of examples we just need to understand this formula in a little simpler way so if i say i'm having line charge distribution as you can see in the figure and if i want to calculate electric field at certain distance then it will be obviously in this direction and this electric field will be rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r where we need to calculate this distance r that is perpendicular distance r right so by calculating distance r simply we can just place that in this formula to have electric field that is there in this direction so in future videos you will be finding many more examples that so that will gives you bit better resolution based on this topic i hope you have understood this derivation